That show up. That guy right there. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Right? Hey, oh, somebody hit the wall. And this is the pond of my man Charlie. pond turned out so good and this was done by yourself too with a excavator oh he had a what was that a backhoe or whatever he had a, a giant, mini, mini excavator mini excavator look at this lotus it doesn't do this justice that's at least three feet with tons of blooms ready to come Notice all of the plant load in this pond. This is a prime example of utilization of what we call the 75% rule. I'd say he's only at about 60% of his water volume full of plants and could use more vertical plants. But you can tell that the pond is healthier and the water is clearer because of all of this massive amount of plants. If you have algae in your pond, add a bunch of plants. What would you tell your 14 year old self that you would have this pond someday. If you could talk to yourself at 14, what would you tell yourself? Mm. If I could talk to at 14. Let me, let me ask a better question. What would 14 year old David say to adult David if you guys were to talk? Does that make sense? What would your 14 yeah, yeah, yeah. year old self say to you right now in your 40s with this pond? How did you do that? <laughs> I mean, we went to a dude's house that had like a mixed koi pond with goldfish and everything. That was a pretty dope thing too. That was like right off his back patio. Oh right? man. That's beautiful. But we never dreamed to have something like this. No. And Wateroo's uh, pond. No, Wateroo awesome. had that pond. It was crystal clear. With the taro. We just had a bunch of leaves on the bottom of it, but it still looked awesome. Wateroo? This guy has the best personality. I think uh, Precious Baby Boy has the best personality, the big gray one. He, 